What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys might know, I am an eBay reseller and one of the things I focus on is video games and consoles. I do sell a bunch of other stuff, but that is the main thing that I focus on reselling on eBay. I also am a collector and a gamer. So the benefit of me finding these video game lots to resell is sometimes I get to find some video games that I can keep in my personal collection or at least have a playthrough before going and reselling the game. And I still make profits even though I do keep some of the video games. So it's like like I'm growing my video game collection without paying for it. I'm still making profit on the whole lot that I purchased and I got to keep some for my personal collection. So today I do have a pretty nice stack of PlayStation 3 video games that I'm going to be sharing with you, ones that are going to be keeping in my personal collection and one that I'm going to be playing through first before I list it to resell it on eBay and that one's going to be pretty profitable in my opinion. So I'm going to start off with the one that I'm going to be doing a playthrough on before I resell it and that is for Family Guy Back to the Multiverse. This game here is a lot of fun. It's one that's back whenever it came out, I believe 2012. It's not something that I would have purchased back then whenever I was gaming, but now being a gamer and an eBay reseller, I was able to find this game really cheap in a lot and get to play it finally. So right now I'm doing a quick playthrough of it. It honestly is a lot of fun. I highly recommend it if you haven't played this game. I am gonna have it listed up probably in a couple weeks once I'm done with the game. I don't know if I'm gonna go for the platinum for this game or if I'm just gonna do the campaign, but regardless, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. This game here sells between $30 and $50 on eBay. So this game alone is gonna make some pretty decent profit on the entire lot that I did purchase. The next game is Grand Theft Auto 4. This game is one that's back on the PlayStation 3. I did own it originally. I think I played through and beat it and it was absolutely a lot of fun and I loved the game. However, it's something that I've wanted to find recently because I wanted to get a chance to play it once again. It's not the best Grand Theft Auto game that's ever been made, but it was a pretty decent one and this was included in the lot so I decided to keep it for my personal collection so I do get a chance to play it once again. Next is a game that for the fans of this franchise people absolutely claim that this is the best game in the all of the franchise and that is Fallout New Vegas. This is a game that back on the PlayStation 3 I never got a chance to play. The only one back on the PlayStation 3 that I played for Fallout was Fallout 3. On the PlayStation 4 however I did play Fallout 4 and I absolutely loved it. It was such a great game. I loved everything about it. So finally I did find the PlayStation 3 version of Fallout New Vegas. So I am going to get a chance to play this game hopefully and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. This is the ultimate edition but I don't know if you can go on PlayStation 3 and if I can download anything. I'm going to have to check that out, but regardless, just the base game, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to get the chance to finally play this game to see if it does live up to all the hype as the best Fallout game ever made. Next is Far Cry 3. This game here on the PlayStation 4, I do own it digitally, where I did do a playthrough and beat the game, and it was absolutely a lot of fun. The only other Far Cry game that I played on the PlayStation 4 was Far Cry 5, which I thought was a great game, and also New Dawn. However, this game here, I loved it so much whenever I found it in the video game lots. I decided to keep it in my personal collection because I thought it was a perfect game and I absolutely loved the story, the campaign, and everything about this game. So now I have a hard copy physical version for my own collection. The next games are Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide. Now, I do remember playing the first Dead Island game here. I can't remember if I owned it digitally or if I purchased it physically and eventually sold the copy back in the day because I wasn't a collector back then. But this game here was a lot of fun. I liked the campaign, I liked the story. It was a lot of fun and a lot of unique things. Now, on the other hand, Riptide, I never got a chance to play other than what I know for the story is it's a continuation of the first game with some of the same players that you can select for the first game continue over to the second game, Riptide. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. For this game, I think I do have it on the PlayStation 4, which I think it includes both games. I do have it digitally though. So at least now I have two physical copies for the PlayStation 3 that if I want, I can go back and play, but I think I do have it on the PlayStation 4 where I can play with, I think, Jack. And I think that's likely how I'm I'm going to play these games. I'm going to play them on the PlayStation 4 and accumulate trophies that way rather than go back to the PlayStation
PlayStation 3, but at least I have physical copies for my collection. And the last two games are Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. These two games back on the PlayStation 3, whenever they were released, I never got a chance to purchase them. That wasn't something that really appealed to me back then, but from the hype of these two games alone, they look like they're going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get a chance to play these games. Red Dead Redemption is basically like a Western Grand Theft Auto, and Undead Nightmare is basically a zombie version of the Western game, which it's going to look like it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, on the PlayStation 4, I was basically trying to decide if I wanted to play and purchase Red Dead Redemption 2. However, I never pulled the trigger on that because I never got a chance to play the first one back in the day and I wanted to get a chance and play the first one before I played the more advanced and newer version for the second one on the PlayStation 4. So now that I own both of these copies, I'm hopefully going to do a playthrough for each. At least I do have a physical copy for my collection and I do get to finally get a chance to go and play this game because I've wanted to for a really long time. And for Undead Nightmare, you guys know I absolutely love zombie games other than Call of Duty, which I can't stand zombies on Call of Duty, but at least this game here, it is going to be a nice twist on zombie games for me. It's basically going to be, going to be a Western zombie game, which I think is going to be fun. I am going to at least play both of these games. So these are all of the games that I recently picked up that I decided some of them I'm going to keep in my personal collection because you guys know I absolutely love to collect. And I still am going to be, even though I did keep some of these games, I'm still going to make a pretty decent profit on the entire lot. Now the Family Guy game, that one there, I right now am playing it on my PlayStation 3. And I plan on doing a quick playthrough and then probably in a couple weeks list it on eBay. Like I said, it's going to sell between $30 to $50. That's the most common sold comps that I see. And that's what I'm expecting to get for this game. If you guys are interested in this game, please let me know. I'll give you guys a nice deal. All the other games in this video are ones that are going to be staying in my personal collection. And luckily by me going and buying and selling video game lots, I can finally get a chance to do this and accumulate some of my collection while still making a profit on eBay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.